Hello everyone, I wanted to show you a quick way on how to make movable pieces with text. Um, there's a couple options we can do here today, and I wanted to show you just um, a quick, easy, easy way that I do it. I have a Mac computer, so the what I'm going to show you will be a little different if you um, have a Windows product. Uh, we'll go ahead and talk about that. So. I already did a different video about how to set a background and I went ahead and already did that. You can check out my other video. Here we're going to talk about labeling and movable pieces that kids can type in. This background is what I made and then I downloaded it as the image. I love to add shapes instead of text box because you can type right in the shape and I think it's kind of cute. Uh, like if you did a circle and you want your label to be, you know, a circle, they can type right in that. So that's what I love about the shapes. It makes it a little cuter than just a typical text box. You can change the background color in it. You can change the borders in it. You can change the width all of that fun stuff. So that is what I love to use instead of the text box, I like to add in a shape. So for labeling, you could do your shape and then here it is. So like the kids could move it around and type right in it. So I put label, like I want them to label it. I preset the font, the size, the position of the font, all of that. So they would just come and click on it, and then this would be like the head. They can do that, submit this to you, and done. Now, if you have kids that need a little bit more assistance with typing, and you want them to move the piece. So again, this was my set background that I showed you. And then over here, I added, the um, shape again, that way they can move that piece, nothing else behind it. They can move just the shape I added. So I could put head and then they could come over here and drag it, right? And put it where it belongs. Now I have students that struggle with tapping too much on the screen. So screen, so if they were tapping, they would be able to write over and then you'd be like, ah, Where'd that go? What you would do is simply screenshot it. Um, if you're on a Windows product, you would use your snipping tool. You can find it. I know there's down like a search bar you can find it from. On a Mac, you would hit Command Shift 4 and then drag over what you want. So that's Command Shift 4. You would hold it all at the same time and then see how it screenshotted it. It will pop up on my desktop. Snipping tool, I believe it pulls up in a window. And there it goes, right there. So I'm going to take it and just simply drag it onto my slide. And then we see that it showed up. And I want to be able to size it. So I'm going to click on this one and hit delete. Then I'm gonna to come to my picture, right? And I'm gonna size it just to make sure it fits like I want it to and looks cute like I want it to. And then there it is. So now it becomes a picture or an image and the kids can't edit it. Like the rest of these they could type on. And I would literally just go through and now we got the beak and the body, right? And then I'm gonna hit Command Shift 4 at the same time. My, my screenshot tool shows up. Again, you would use the tool called Snipping Tool on a Windows. And then there it is. And then I would get it off my desktop. It's going to pop up. There it is. And then just simply drag it onto my screen. You can go through and screenshot all of these first and then um, add them all at the same time. It's a little quicker that way, right? So now it fits. See, this one was the edit text box and I don't want them to be able to edit my box. There it is. So I would go through and do all of that. I also have students that need that little extra cue. So you could do the same box and then just change the color of the font. I like it a lighter gray. And I would set this as an image 
And then that way it's like that extra cue. Oh, I put head with head. So um, that is what I like to do for just an extra accommodation. I have kiddos that can't read. I have more significant disabilities also with my students. So I would do a picture base. So then here they are doing the same concept, but just with pictures. Here I um, added the picture. Yep, there it is. These ones I already screenshotted. And then they can just simply, boom, there it goes. So it becomes one image. You can group them, I've noticed. So like if I have this one and I want to highlight over all of it and see how it grabs all of it, and I would right click or two fingers on your keypad and hit group. So now it becomes one image and they can move it together. If they click on it too many times though, they can still access the image separately and it can cause issues. So doing that same snipping concept or screenshot concept kind of helps with that and it just simply becomes one image. No editing involved. I do the same for that extra cue image wise. And what I do for that is I just kind of make it transparent. Um, and how I do that is simply click on the image, format options, and then in adjust, um, the adjustments, you can change the transparency. I'm going to make it kind of light, and then I would copy that. See, and then I would add it to the box and then set that as my background. So right now it is set as my background. That way the kids um, can simply match. So it still gives, but I want this to be bold and bright. And again, I would go through, if you're on a Mac, Command Shift 4, screenshot it so it becomes one image. I'm going to shrink and let it go to my desktop, drag it back on to my slide. There it is. I'm going to resize it. It always kind of makes it a little small. Yeah, that's about right. I'm going to simply, if you just hold and drag over things, it highlights all that you've dragged over, hit delete. And then there becomes my image and I would do the same for all of them. So I hope that helps with dragging answers. Um, you can do text, you can do pictures. Screenshot is Command Shift 4 on a Mac or um, the snipping tool if you are on a Windows product. Hope this helps.